Hello folks and welcome to another Halo Fan for Life toy review. This is the Mega Bloks UNSC Quad Walker. The set number is 97263. It has 335 pieces. So as you can see here, this is a part of the box. And uh, let's take a look at something else here. Okay, besides the box, of course it comes with uh, instructions. And what's cool about this is, if you can see here, it kind of looks like blueprints. And uh, that's pretty cool. Other than that, it's a regular set of, uh, you know, instructions and all that. But uh, the Repex line has this uh, neat cover to all of their uh, instruction sheets. Okay, beyond that, the next thing is they also come with this cool little card. <laughs> I had it upside down. They have this cool little card that comes with it that uh, it shows uh, orthogonal views, uh, front, top, and side of it. Um, now, here it says T30 Locus. Uh, which is actually a Covenant vehicle, uh, but then they also follow that up with, and here it says that, they follow that up with the SOEIV drop pod, uh, which is uh, in, basically an orbital drop pod. So essentially what they're doing is they're kind of combining the Locus with uh, the drop pod to make the whole thing here, which is the quad walker. Okay, let's take a look at part of the set. Now, I went out of order uh, in the instructions, and instead of building the quad worker first, as is shown in the instructions, I built the shade turret. Um, this is uh, very, very similar to uh, the one that came out, uh, I think it was last year or maybe the year before that. Uh, and that one was uh, in, a, in a purple color. Uh, yes, I was going to comment on that. Be careful, for some reason these, uh, these little side wings tend to fall off a little easily so you know be keep see be careful when you're handling them <laughs> all right anyways uh the cool thing about this is uh this part rotates the gun and of course it swivels uh using a uh, swivel joint here as well the uh, elite figure can fit in now uh, one thing I want to mention with that as you fit him in uh, if he tries to stand from top to bottom here it's gonna be kinda tough so what you have to do is you have to duck his head in a little bit and fit between these two prongs right here so that he can fit in there but he's definitely capable of fitting in there it just uh, gets a little uh, a little a little difficult difficult Okay, so let's look at the uh, figure, and uh, here's the Elite figure, and it comes with a Storm Rifle, it's gold color. Um, the gold on mine is good, except for the shoulders and the head seem to be a little bit different color. They're more of a mustard as opposed to being gold. Uh, the rest of the figure shines nicely, though. Um, this really isn't a, a big deal to me, uh, because he's just going to get mixed in with other figures. But, uh, you know, if you've got uh, concerns about paint applications, well, that's just something you might want to look at. Uh, the next figure is the Spartan that comes with it, and this is... A, uh, a Spartan uh, recon and if you notice uh, this figure uh, the color of it's like a really nice uh, dark blue and it has a red visor that seems to be the theme for all of the Spartan figures uh, that come with uh, repex um, sets the um, the one that came with the siege bike set was a CIO Spartan and of course he had the same armor color, although CIOs don't have visors per se, so he didn't have red. Uh, and then you have the uh, the Mark VI that came with the um, uh, the VTOL craft. And again, it was the same color and had the red visor. So he comes with, and this is pretty cool, he comes with an incineration cannon. Uh, this is only the second time we've seen the incineration cannon. Uh, the other one came with one of the microfleet vessels, and uh, it's very cool. It's a nice gun here. A lot of good detail to it. All right, now let's get to the main thing of this uh, review. And I need to change my stand a little bit, so apologies if this is a little shaky here. Okay, so here we have the quad walker. Okay, now this uh, setup that it's in right now is... Um, uh, is basically it's drop pod mode um, whenever it releases from a ship in space it comes down like this and if you can see right here one two three and four that's like its engines and so as it comes down um, those engines help to slow it down now and 
once it gets closer to the ground, then the legs deploy, and you can hear those nice clicks. Uh, that's the joints on these, and the joints of these are the same ones that are used with the, uh, the Mantis. It's very good, very cool. All right. And I, of course, just popped that out, but that's my fault. Okay, so now you can see here, and let me readjust again, apologies. Okay, so now we can see here that the quad walker is uh, on all of its legs. And uh, these, uh, I, I think they're supposed to be uh, gauss cannons, but uh, they look much like the same... Um, cannons that are on the uh, the shade turret from previous. Not this one, but the other one. But anyways, uh, it does pivot up and down. In fact, it's got two pivot points. There's one right here, and then there's one up here. So it can pivot up like that, you know, and down and down again. And uh, it can even swivel a little bit, slightly. Uh, and of course, the other one does the same. Uh, inside, then, this cockpit does flip open, and you can see right here, this is the little handles for the uh, Spartan to hold on to, and in fact that actually pivots as well and turns a little bit. It doesn't really need to turn though, but the pivoting allows the figure to uh, fit in there better. Um, so, uh, all this said here, let's uh, take a look at the full set again as I knock off pieces of the turret. <laughs> okay, let me get these set up a second. All right. So, I'm going to move this, and this might be a little shaky, so apologies. But here is the full set. Uh, this retails for roughly $32. It uh, depends on where you get it from, but that's the average cost. So uh, try and find uh, that or better uh, when you're out shopping. Um, I really like the shade turret. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, it certainly fits in. The color is a little different. It's kind of like a, I hate to say it, but it's like a chocolate pudding color, but it's still pretty cool. <laughs> um, the quad walker is, uh, it's different. Um, it's not in any of the games just yet. Uh, hopefully we'll get the chance to see that. And what I'm actually hoping that uh, will happen with these Repex vehicles is that we'll see them in the um, comic books. That would be a really good way to get these into the canon of Halo uh, without having to wait for them to be put into the games. So uh, uh, as far as the idea of this though, it's kind of cool. I like the idea that uh, the UNSC has something to match against the uh, Covenant's Locus and um, the cannons on it are very cool. Um, I'm going to attempt to make something different out of this just for the heck of it. And uh, if and when I'm able to do that, I'll post that up on the blog as well. Speaking of, uh, if you want to see a written review of this with uh, plenty of pictures that show the building process of this along the way, please uh, check out my blog. It's halofanforlife.com. There I have many other toy reviews as well as uh, with regards to Halo, of course, um, as well as every and anything else uh, that is uh, Halo news. That's the games, books, novels, uh, comics. Um, conventions where Halo is present. So pretty much every and anything that's Halo uh, is uh, where you can go to find uh, things out at my blog. Again, that's halofanforlife.com. I want to thank you very much for uh, taking a look at this uh, uh, video review and uh, give me a comment below if you like it or not, and uh, we'll see you next time.